Hey Guru, it's Sunday evening, October 6th. Uh, to begin with, I'm sorry to hear that you're sick. Hope you're feeling better. I had the gout in my retreat. You were asking about what I wear in my hair. You know, I've got headbands. I've got a black one like this that I stole from Sarah and this gray one. And um, I do wear those at work a lot because um, when my hair is pulled back like that, it makes me look a little more professional. Actually, I really like uh, this uh, right here is a, um, a little visor. And I was wearing this this morning. And Sarah says, I wear it like this because I'm trying to look cool. And she's right. And I know it doesn't look cool on a 40-year-old guy to wear a hat off to the side like this, but sometimes I like to do that anyway. Um, other times I just wear it down like this. Um, and actually, depending on how I'm feeling, I can wear it like this, with the hair sticking out the top, which you've probably seen. Um, and uh, that all works pretty well. Um, then I've got these uh, stockings. And this is the uh, the one that I wear just like that, and I tuck everything into it. And then I've got the uh, one with the hole in the top that, uh, and this one's really cool the way I put this on. I don't know if I showed you this before, but um, I go like this and pull it down over my face like so. like that and then push it all up. I think this is really attractive to put this over your face like this and then pull it up like that. How does that look? Look pretty good? Just like that. And I wore this uh, last night like that. And it gets my hair up. And sometimes I'll put a little um, ponytail thing on the top. Well, that's kind of nice. So the next day it all stands up funny. Um, then I've got uh, actually this. I wear this to soccer practice a lot. I keep a couple of these in my car if I have to get the hair back so I can just pull it back real quick. It works pretty well for soccer practices. Keeps the hair out of my face. It's lightweight. I got a bunch of these. So like I said, I just keep them lying around. The other thing I got is I've got this bandana and I know I showed you um, well, I wear this a yellow bandana and I've got this blue one as well and sometimes I wear them um, like this where I just tuck in all my hair um, which I kind of like uh, and keeps everything out of the way um, other times you know I just turn them into a headband and put them up around the top which I think you probably see me with the yellow one that I wear <clears throat> and I also have this lovely hat right here. My beanie, as one of the soccer players called it. I don't know if you can see that. It says JPL on it. it. Stands for Jet Propulsion Labs, Pasadena, where my buddy um, Jonathan works. Um, which reminds me of a product placement uh, complaint that you made. And Jonathan expect money. Money right here. I am advertising your product and placing it in my video. I expect to be paid. Which reminds me also that uh, Ned said your check's in the mail. Anyway, uh, that's the hair stuff. The uh, soccer practice. Uh, we had our last game on Thursday. We played Hermiston High School. who beat us 6 nothing earlier this season and we lost 2 to nothing. The JV lost 2 to nothing, And uh, we played great. We, uh, we gave up two goals in the first half, but we played awesome. We had a ton of scoring chances, and especially the last, second half of the game, we came out and played great, and it was 0-0 the second half, and we had a ton of scoring opportunities. They had some scoring opportunities as well. I think we had a few more in the second half, and especially the last 15 or 20 minutes. They were really holding on. I mean, we missed the goal by a couple feet uh, on either side and a header over the top on a corner. It would, would have been really cool to win, but I was really happy. Our boys played really well. Um, it was excellent. So we got the banquet on Tuesday night, and then I'm 
done with soccer for a while, although I'm going to play indoor, which should be really fun. The uh, I'm going on and on here, and uh, I know my videos are kind of long. This video is going to be kind of long. And uh, actually, the varsity soccer coach told me that he'd heard an anecdote or seen an anecdote where Einstein once wrote to somebody, he'd written a two-page letter, and he said, I'm sorry, I don't have time to write a shorter letter. And I guess that um, I don't have time to make shorter videos, or maybe you don't have time to make shorter videos. Actually, in your case, I think you just don't care. You don't have the heart to make shorter videos, whereas I don't have the time to make shorter videos, which is proved by the fact that you spent 10, 20 minutes almost of video time showing me how to make bratwurst um, in the appropriate manner, which I have to admit I found entertaining. I, I did enjoy it, but uh, it only proves that you have way too much time on your hands. You need to get a hobby, devote more time to your business, maybe you'll make some more money. Um, yeah, just, just step up your game, okay? Step up your game. Whereas me, I am so busy I can't see straight. Actually, this last week has been crazy. Um, hopefully it'll slow down later. In your video criticizing me and my uh, calling a sausage a bratwurst, I just want to say that um, I think it's a lot like calling a simile a metaphor, but I could be wrong. Apparently you're uploading two videos about bratwurst. In the meantime, I'm hungry, so I'm about to eat. And Sarah has forced me to actually fry up these frozen things that you apparently don't consider bratwurst sausages. Um, so uh, I haven't had a time to see your scathing attack on my uh, culinary art, but uh, I thought I'd take this video anyway. Yeah, I, I appreciate your effort, but you know, I have a life. I'm not going to spend an entire Saturday boiling and grilling brats. Number one, I hate to cook. It's just not my thing. Uh, and number two, um, I don't really care what I eat. So I, maybe that makes me a bad person. And number three, actually, I don't like sauerkraut. So maybe I'm a lost cause. This may be our last video exchange. I may be shunned. The, um, the, uh, Tom Petty music. Kind of reminds me of, remember when we went to um, the Grand Coulee? When we went up to, um, to the Gorge for the, that uh, Tom Petty concert. Um, this reminds me a little bit of that, the landscape. Um, debates and politics. I've got to say that I'm more enthusiastic about uh, Obama than I've been about a politician in a long time. But that really isn't saying much. Uh, I have not been enthusiastic about a politician in a long time, and I'm not enthusiastic. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of, it's almost, it's not like I'm enthusiastic, it's like I'm relieved that I think Obama is, has some sort of ethical grounding and some sort of honesty, but to be fair, he's been sort of in a good position and never had to pull out all the nasty stops in order to try to win selection through the whole cycle so I don't know if he would he would do all that nasty stuff given the opportunity and frankly I kind of doubt that he wouldn't um, do it so uh, I guess I'm a cynic but I just you know I, I just don't I, I can't handle all the politics and McCain is just you know I, I used to have sort of warm feelings towards McCain and uh, I have nothing but uh, disdain for the guy now. None of them, none of them warm the cockles of my heart. What was up with the flower shop? You went to see somebody named Betsy in the flower shop, and I expect that this has to be foreshadowing of something that's coming, because if it's not, you're just like David Lynch from Blue Velvet, where you show random shots just to make the viewer uncomfortable, and, and I've had enough of that stuff, so it better be foreshadowing. Anyway, that's all I got. You take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.